Hello everybody and welcome back to Visit Vile Coast. My name is Jane and I'm an addict. <laughs> I could give it up if I wanted to. This is a little bit of my a little bit of my wood stash. And in this video I'm going to show you how I transform my stash into something that is well, I think it's pretty and quite a few of you seem to think it's nice too. So don't forget make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, give it a like. And don't forget to do the subscribe bell stuff and then you'll get notifications when we do new videos. So I'm going to I'm going to show you some of the steps that I go through in order to make a cottage because I think you get quite a surprise to find out just how involved it is and just how long it takes. It's certainly not done like that. So this is my um, kitchen roll plastic bag with loads of bits of clean wood in so I, I get I get firewood from our local wood shop and and that comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes so this is my bag of bits that I'm using at the minute and this is one of my many boxes of driftwood that is cleaned and washed and ready to use so I'll, I'll show you how we managed to get to this state where you can actually bring it into the living room in a box because I wouldn't be very popular if I brought it off the beach would I so I've got all kinds of bits in here I've got bits that are going to be bases I've got bits that could frankly be anything I've got all sorts so I hope you enjoy this video stick with it and you'll be able to see how we get from that to a cottage this is the really glamorous stage. I've got my grotty scruffy pinny on, which I wear because you can see there's like little flecks of muck all over it where the, the, the brush is sort of flakes. I've got my rubber gloves ready. I've had my, my wood soaking. I've kept turning it over. So now I'm going to get scrubbing, as you might say. So this is, this is the mucky bit of the proceeding. This is my wood stash. So I've got it all neatly, neatly sorted out into different parts. I've got new off cuts. And the question is, how can you transform that into a house? It's got to fit, got to fit. This is my bits of wood box. So they're all different shapes and sizes. So that one goes in layer. And this is my other wood box with some other bits of wood in it. So these are these are sticks and twigs and whatnot and and, and there's my Dremels. I'm a double Dremel. There you go, you see, double Dremel. I keep looking at this one and wondering what I could make with it. It's a really nice little bit of wood that. It's not very big though, it's not big enough to make a a base. Next stage is to get everything ready. So I rummage through my box, my boxes, and find the bits of wood that I think I might like. Like these look. And then I rummage through my sawn wood to find the bits that I want to make into properties. And these are all these are all coming next. These are my next batch. There's some bits of wood there look ready for ready for tea boy and training to cut. And then it all needs painting and, and making up and assembling. So you've got to be able to see the bits of wood and then understand how you're going to fasten them all together. And turn that into something lovely. Then out of my stash, ta -da -ta -da, drum roll and fanfare, comes the finished article when I've done a lot of painting, cutting, thinking, sticking, looking, twiddling them around and, and, and all the different things that you do when you're making something. So these are a couple of my current creations. There are always different ones on the go and I always try to make them different largely because number one, you don't want the same thing all the time and number two, it makes it more interesting to make them. So I've got my first Chandler's shop which as you can see, 
has got a garden full of accoutrements that you would find at a Chandler's. So we've got we've got um, nuts and bolts and crabs and and um, go on what they're called anchors for sale in our in our shop yard and a little a little awning over the front of the window and this is this is made by hand by me with the little pyrography pen and the flags are flying as well to match and on the side of it we've got a little bell and it's actually got a little clanger in it I don't know if you can hear that oh, that's really natty this little bell ship's bell hung on the the side so that's one so they're always different but they're always made with the same attention to detail and the same care and attention and this one is spring cottage and i think the reason for that is quite obvious as well so this one's got the the flowers in the garden and the the um Window boxes, that's the word. Got a little bee on the roof, look. And a chimney. And a little bicycle at the side of the front door down here. Got all the little details on it. We've got our little made with love signature charm on the side. So there's all kinds of little bits of driftwood and one or two pebbles from the beach and lots of detail and chimney pots and all the rest of it. So this is literally the stuff that you've seen in the bucket um, being being cleaned. And they're all finished off with a felt piece on the bottom so that when you put it on your cupboard, it's not going to scratch anything. And a Seaside Emporium logo, of course. I'll just show you the bottom of this one. So the different colours each time, depending on... What fabric I've got available, that's got a blue one underneath. But it just stops them from catching. So they sent out well packed with loads of bubble wrap and, and tissue and all the rest of it. In usually a recycled cardboard box. I reuse all the, the stuff that, that we get here. So if you can use it again, please do so. And then they go off to their new homes. Hope you've enjoyed this little look around some of the care and attention that goes into making our driftwood cottage art. They look quite, it's like all things, they look quite simple when they're finished. But the time and effort and care and attention that goes into making them, well, I, I couldn't even begin to try and add it up. It, it does take ages to do each one. So keep checking on seasideemporium.co.uk to see when we've got new stock available. We also share them on the Seaside Emporium Facebook page and quite often on our YouTube channel as well as a, as a community post. So I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into what goes off behind the scenes. And don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed because there's loads of other things that happen here at the at the um, rabbit patch and don't forget to make sure that you hit that little bell for notifications and we'll see you next time bye for now